hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna do a little like get ready tutorial because i just figured i need to do my makeup i want to try out my new palette by ColourPop, and yeah i figured i'm gonna do another video so i should have my makeup done for the next one so i will open this up to show you guys really quick so beautiful i just bought it at alta for like 22 dollars i think so that's what the packaging looks like. It's so pretty. Fortune, this is called. And there's your shades. I did swatch a few. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It's pretty large, too. I was looking for one of the smaller ones, but they were like sold out of everything at Alta. So these have some really fun names, too. I'm looking for some fame and fortune in this 2019 year. Okay, so I'm just going to get to it so we can hurry up and get this over with. So I'm going to use some Rimmel London Match Perfect Concealer. We're going to do this really quick. Let me open up my little, so I have a little mirror. And I'm like all out of this, so. And it's so cheap. It's like five bucks. It's amazing. So I'll put this under my eyes really quick. Put some on the top. Get looking really crazy. I should have put my primer on, but we'll do that after, I guess. And I just kind of blend this with my finger. up to the eyebrow really brightens up the eyes all right do the next one and I'm no professional so don't judge me now I'm gonna use this little thing of bare minerals prime time yes original foundation primer I only need a little of this and I love the texture of this. I did exfoliate my face, so definitely need some primer. Forehead. Let me put my hair back here in a second. I don't know why I didn't do that. Don't worry about me, guys. I'll be okay with this face. I'll be alright. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this stuff aside. I hate clutter. Now I'm using BB Cream by Rimmel London. This is also like five bucks at Rite Aid because I just really haven't tried out any new good foundations yet. I just put a little bit on my face. I never use, uh, well, I used to use beauty blenders. I, now I kind of just like using my fingers because it just comes out so much better. Let me just rub this in really quick. Alright, so I am looking pretty ghostly, but I do love the feel of this BB cream. It's matte, 9 in 1. I have been using this pretty vulgar setting powder to set this off, so we'll do some of that really quick. Sorry guys, I have another mirror. 
that way as well, so. And this kind of just mattifies it a little more. It makes the oil go away. This really does. I tried this on the back of my hand and it made my pores like disappear. Not my pores, but you know, the little like lines and cracks. Okay. And this is like $32, but I received this in a BoxyCharm box. You can't see it with my darn light, but it's beautiful. Next step, I am going to use my Too Faced bronzer here. And I like to look pretty darn intense. Next cheek. I love my cheekbones. I gotta blend it up to the forehead. Hit your nose, hit your chin. Make sure you blend in your neck a little so you're not looking too crazy. I'm actually liking how this is coming out today. I'm pretty nice. My skin is looking not too bad because I am 25, but I do still deal with acne prone. So I just hit pan. I'm so mad. I got that. Oh. Dropping things. I got that from TJ Maxx for like six, seven dollars, which is awesome because it's Too Faced. And I'm gonna use this Laura, yes, Laura Geller. I don't know what shade this is. Tropic Hue. Sorry, I couldn't find it on the back. It's crazy back there. Okay, I'm gonna do a little blush. And I don't really like using blush, but this is like perfect for my skin tone. It's like orangey. It's like a highlighter. If you really highlight with it. Hopefully this isn't taking too long. And recently my boyfriend just bought me this billion dollar brows, a hint of tint. And I don't know where he got it from. And I did research and look up how much it was and stuff. But like, I didn't think I was going to like it because I'm picky with my brow stuff. But I love it. You can do perfect feather brows with this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this really quick. So you can already see the difference, but I feel like you really need brows to do this. And you could probably use this and a pencil or something. Do my other brow really quick. I'm so shaky, I had so much coffee. Oh, my lighting. Okie dokie. This brow is so different than the other one. It goes like up. But whatever. I know we all have a different brow. Next step. Eyeshadow. So we're going to use a little Ben here as a base or whatever. And I use my finger for my base. You guys should be worried about me. Oh, nice. 
Wow, it's very pigmented. Closing on me. Next eye. You will be real sloppy with it. Sometimes the best eyeshadow times I have, I'm just going like really fast. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm like mumbling. Let me find like a uh, semi clean. Use one of these. Because I don't know. Do I have anything like clean? My Luxy brushes are so dirty. I'm going to use this Alamar brush. Oh my god, it's so dirty. Hold on. I think we'll be all right. It's so dirty. I need to clean my brushes. And we're going to use I'm going to do this like magenta -y tro uh it's called trove down here. We're going to try that out. It looks kind of maroon, but I swatched it and it's like pink. So I'm excited. Okay, so we've got that on there. Next eye. Okay. Now we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna do a shimmer. So, these colors. We're gonna do racks. Racks, which is right there. It's like champagne pink. I'm gonna like wipe off my hand. I don't have anything around. So let's do this. Oh my god, this is a beautiful shade. I did not expect this. It's so blendable. Okay. Do the next eye. And this is just like a quick makeup look. Finally learning how to like mess around with these palettes and not come out looking like too crazy. Okay. Now that I have makeup all over my fingers, I'm gonna like just blend it in a little more. You could put a warmer shade in here to like warm it up, but like, I don't know, on camera this looks really, you get a close up. I feel like it looks really pigmented and like orange and red on the camera. I'll try to like put a picture with the video, but it looks very like shimmery and pink and a lot different this is weird anyways let me set my camera back up now i'm just gonna do some quick mascara so i don't look so bald on my eyes 
Again, I'm sorry this video is taking forever. I didn't know it took me 15 minutes to do my makeup. Maybe longer on camera. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys, this is the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's amazing, as you can see, the difference. And I don't have any eyelash extensions or anything. This is just the mascara. Right. I like my eyelashes to look very dramatic. It's coming out good. I guess isn't shutting correctly. Anyways, I was gonna do a quick lip, and my hands are like a disaster. Apparently, I don't know how this happened, but do a quick lip. I'm not gonna do the lip liner, but I don't know why I closed my mirror. I got this from Influencer. It's the L'Oreal Rouge um, Matte Liquid Lipstick, and it does not have a shade, so I don't know. And it goes on like very, very glossy and like oily feeling. And it does eventually dry down. The wear is not too great. Sorry, I probably look so weird putting this on right now. And voila. So, there's my look. I'm not the greatest on my lips, but like, I never know where to stop because my lips are huge. And sometimes it looks weird. Well, hope you guys like my little get ready with me. Like and subscribe, please. Thanks. Love you.